quickly make a mess of not only the roads, but also driveways, sidewalks and parking lots. Those slippery surfaces can be a hazard to walk on. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live in the Elm City with a look at the situation there. Matt, have you fallen yet? <laughs> no, Dennis, I'm keeping my balance, but not only does a storm like this uh, keep public works crews busy, but with the icy conditions, the potential for slip and fall accidents, the same can be said for local emergency rooms. With her winter boots and an umbrella, Pat Smith isn't a fan of all the ice and freezing rain. Some spots where owners don't put down the salt and everything like that, but other than that, you just have to walk slow. Out braving the elements in downtown New Haven, she and others take it slow. I make sure that I don't have on heels. Um, the weather is going to be the weather. Some even shuffling along, trying not to slip and fall. Avoid keeping your hands in your, in your pockets. Uh, walk flat-footed as much as possible. Dr. Vic Parwani, the medical director of the Adult Emergency Department at Yale New Haven Hospital, says when the conditions get slippery like today, the ER sees an increase in patients. I think most commonly when you slip and fall, people brace themselves with their hands, which is a safe thing to do, but you can injure your wrist, you can sprain your wrist, you can break your wrist, you can hurt your elbow, you can hurt your shoulder. Sometimes you can bang your, you can bang your head against the ice as well. And the ice isn't just an issue for those walking but also for those out driving on New Haven's 280 miles of roads and those trying to keep them safe. We will go through at least 300 ton of salt. Yeah, that's just straight salt. That's not even counting our treated salt, yeah, our sand that we put down. Richard Christensen, New Haven's public works superintendent, says snow, they can plow, but when it's ice, it can seem like a never-ending battle. We go out there, we put the stuff down, we put salt down and stuff, and an hour later, we're getting calls from PD that there's slippery conditions, so he's, the truck just keeps going around in a circle. And you can see back at the road, that will refreeze again tonight. Now, uh, the doctor says if you do slip and fall, he says get an idea, a sense of where it's hurting, hold it still. If there's still a severe pain, a numbness after a while, he says that's when you want to go in and check out the ER. Uh, also, some other tips, he says you want to keep your balance. So he says a good idea to walk with your hands, not in your pockets, outside. So if you start to go down, you can brace yourself. He says also you don't want to be carrying something. You want to have both hands free. Also, uh, make sure you have good shoes and most importantly, he says, watch where you're walking. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.